Let's just hope that everything is working. Working, working, working. Okay. Oh, my thingy froze up on my end. If it's not the, if it's not one thing, it's another. Looks like it's working. I shall wait for confirmation. <laughs> uh, okay, it's working on your end, working on my end. Everything seems to be working. Okay, hello everybody. Amy R here. Welcome to the face, crafting space, etc. And yeah, something new with my lives as promised figured it out the best way to do it i have a link directly below the video it's just to a little google form you can put in your name and address and when i'm done like near the end of the live the unpaid intern will choose depending on how many cards i make i'm planning on making two today we'll see but he will choose a winner or two and we'll just mail out the cards. This was the easiest way to do it. It saves us from having to email back and forth and do, you know, all just me, just put in your name and address. And I state it in the form. I don't keep this info. I don't share this info. I don't sell this info. I just, I'm really big on that. I don't, I don't like, I don't like that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's just for today's live. And then I'll do a new one each time. And yeah, so and yes, the unpaid intern posted a link to it too in the in the live chat, whichever direction I'm aiming at. I think this this one. So yeah, everything should be good. Just making sure we're all good. So yeah, hello everyone. There's the there's the the gist of it. Also, um, I posted and I have that linked in the description box below as well. I posted that on my the sale link. It's the oh, yes. shop Simon sale category. Um, highly recommend checking that out too. Uh, things are flying. I posted that just a couple hours ago because I was getting things ready for this live and I saw a lot of good sales. So while supplies last, while I, like literally people were responding and saying they were like, it was in my cart and it was gone when I went to check out. That's what happens when there's good sales. There's some good deals in there. So that's there as well. And yeah. Oh, the, no, the genius in the background. That's what <laughs> Kath called you. He is actually a genius, but I still prefer I to call him my unpaid intern. I so, go that far. Oh, you're a first more person. You just can't find the ketchup when it's right in front of your face, but. <laughs> That's just uh, men in uh, general. Yeah, that is men in general. I need to, I should have shared that to my social media. <laughs> that little video is funny. Like men that suffer from man eyes. They can't find things We're ever. Rexes. We can only see things that are moving. Yeah, kind of true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Men are like T-Rexes. If, if my keys were like. Shaking John around. jumping around. Well, yeah. that would be for everybody. Then we'd all be able to find it. Uh, how did your channel name come about? I live in the prairies and I play with paper and ink. I, that sounds very, very, very blase. Honestly, back in the day, 20 years ago, whenever it was when I started my blog, I didn't sleep for three days. I, I was really like contemplating it and it's like do I like, which it sounds funny now but back then like hardly like that was when blogging was in its infancy um and there was literally like like five card making bloggers back then and yeah I was just like should I should I do it should I do it I don't know I don't know I don't know what do I call it you know and yeah that was part of it too because back then we didn't use our names everyone was kind of more anonymous you always had something creative as a name you didn't usually put your name on things so yeah, prairie paper and ink, and I've kept it all these, all these years, because, yeah. Even though yeah. there's a restaurant in the city that's got a similar name. I know, I know, prairie ink. I'm still a little annoyed by that. However, it's in a bookstore, yes. so it works. And their food is, now that I've actually been there, I'll give them credit, their food is amazing. So, yeah, yeah, is what it is, is what it is. But anywho, um... Going through all of the comments and <laughs> ah, they 
Thanks, Patricia, but you're right. <laughs> you don't have any place to talk. Remember the last roll of tape? <laughs> Burn! True, though. Seriously. <laughs> the fact that I lost the, when I lost the roll of oh. foam tape, like, right in front of my face, yes. I was obviously experiencing a case of man eyes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yep. No, it happens to me a lot. I can't find half the things, like, right in front of my face. And, yeah, that foam tape, that one really threw me for a loop. I had a complete, just, brain-dead chunk of time. It wasn't even a moment. I wandered around here looking for that roll of tape for the longest time. It took me, I don't even know how long, until it just it was, like, right, right in front of my face. So, any, yeah. I'll tease him all the time, but anyway. Um, yeah, everyone asks about those. Yes, mm, right there. Those are the Sarah Renee Clark color cubes. I don't have a link for them. You can just Google it. They're great. I don't um, feature, they're on it. They're more for display for me. Um, I ordered them. I do use them every once in a while. I just don't feature them and stuff. But yeah, they're, they're cool. They're very cool. So, um, so, anywho, happy Sunday. Welcome to everybody. And, yeah, a reminder. The Google Forms doc is linked below. People can put their names and addresses into that. And close to the end or when I'm done making the card or cards. Good chance I'll be able to do two today with what I'm planning on doing. Um, Chris will pick a couple random winners using our little random number generator. And I will just mail out those cards to those winners this week. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And... Ooh, you're even getting the fancy, like, wording and stuff. Well, I might have to start... In your description. Oh, did you? You just copy and pasted? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to give you that much credit. <laughs> brilliant! Well, yeah, I guess that's part of the brilliance, really. Because why reinvent the wheel? I do the same thing. I copy and paste everything. It's just easier. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to... I think I think we're good with all the rigmarole, chattiness, what have you. Gonna swish the camera around. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... I still gotta figure out how to do this in one... There's a way somehow that I can do this in like one click and Maybe it'll a just... Template or something. Maybe. It'll be next month. I said October was gonna be our month to learn all the things. And you know, we, hey, we figured out some things. I figured out how to add comments and you know, now we're doing giveaways too. So we're making progress. It's just <laughs> takes me 10 times longer than everyone else. Anywho, oh my goodness. Just sat down with a baked potato covered in chili that I made. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We need to do um, baked potatoes one of these days again. It's been a while. It has, but barbecue season's kind of over now. We could still run the barbecue. Why not? Yeah, I guess. It you know, as long as it's not blizzarding outside, we can still <laughs> run the barbecue. You know, and especially baked potatoes. You just throw them in there. It's not like you have to, like, stand there. And you know, them. yeah, I like stand there in the cold in a parka. Hey, whatever works. Because, yes, we have got a bunch of snow here. It's cold. Winter is winter is here. It just is it, what it is. It sit in fast this yeah. year. You, put your, you didn't put your slippers on. I am. I will go get them. You should go get them because you're going to complain in about 10 minutes that your feet are cold. So, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the prairies in winter, everyone. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Plans. Plans. I got a couple things from the Simon Says Stamp November card kit. I've already done a couple videos using the kit. I did a video unboxing the kit and I made a couple cards and then I did another video and I used the stencil set from the kit and some of the sentiment stamps. For today, I was like, I want to use the embossing folder because I love embossing folders. Love, 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 love embossing folders, especially Simon's 3D embossing folders. So I was like, I'm gonna use this, 
And then I pulled out some oldie but goodie products. All, as always, when Chris gets back, once he gets his warm slippers on, because otherwise he's going to freeze. And hopefully he grabs a sweater too. It gets cold in here. Um, he'll link to the things in the chat, but they are all linked directly below the video. Pretty much everything I'm going to use. I like planned it all out in my head like I normally do. So that's, that's where we're going with this. So yeah, winter in North Dakota too. Oh yeah, I believe it. It's, oh yeah, it's still snowing. Or it was, it was snowing a little bit earlier. I was doing some cleaning up in here and taking out the garbage and stuff. And yeah, it was snowing. You did put on your sweater. I assumed you would. Yes. Yeah. You got your smiley foot. And there is, in case you get really cold, my heated blankie and it's plugged in. Okay. <laughs> I may not pay you, but I am working to keep you alive. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> not a frozen four, ice cold. Four feet from a garage door. Yes. It gets, it gets chilly in here. It really does. Oi. Um, thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I used your two metal shim method from boss. Yeah. And I'll show that. That is like, I haven't figured out how to do it yet with the, the new platform for the platinum, like platinum six, but yeah. Why, what, what works for me? Why, why mess around? So I want to do a little bit of stamping on the background first. Cause that's something I love doing is adding text and all the things, you know, to my backgrounds. That said, I'm going to use archival links this time because my go-to favorites of the original formula of Simon's inks, you know, my khaki and cobblestone and fossil are basically discontinued, which just makes me really sad because I'm not getting rid of them. I'll still keep using them here and there. Um, but yeah. I'm going with archive links because this portion, I don't want it to smear everywhere. Cause I'm going to do this and then we're going to layer, we're going to be doing some ink blending and some splattering and all the things. So this text, while I don't need it to be perfect, I don't want it to smear everywhere. So yeah. <laughs> hey Chris, where's your true Canadian spirit? We brave the winter weather to barbecue anytime. We kind of do within reason, you know, when we really want something, um, he will, but it's where our house sits and the wind, some it's the wind, yeah. like to even get our barbecue to stay on sucks. Like the wind has, yeah. Cause it has, hasn't it? On a really windy, it's blowing that thing out. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Anyway. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So. Like we we kind of do, and I've been wanting to. It's just that kind of stuff, too. It's stupid expensive. Like, building my deck was stupid expensive. I'm still kind of bitter about that. But, yeah, I have plans to, like, put up some decorative sort of thingies to, yeah, create a bit of a windbreak and so that Chris can barbecue for me all, all year. All year. all year. You know, I'll be 40 below and he'll be out there barbecuing. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss just because again, winter time. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. So that's, that's all I got to say about that. So, okay, let's do some stampy stamping. I just got some some white cardstock and the oldie but goodie Simon Says Stamp. Thank you, text background stamp. One of my favorites. I use this like all the time, all the time. And I will probably use just this cloth. Let's let's just experiment. Let's just, let's just let's just see what happens, you know? So I'm gonna ink this up. And then so that one was Vintage photo archival. And then I'm gonna like just use my my cloth to kind of take off some of that ink. 
Yeah. And then we're just going to stoop it. doesn't need to be perfect. That's one. And since I'm going in with a dark rink, I'm not even going to bother cleaning this because now I'm going to use ground espresso. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is one thing I really like about like distress ink pads, the oxide ink pads, the archival ink pads, the ones that are the felt with the um, linen cover. You can like, I don't know, really reef on them. It's therapeutic. Don't ask me why. Anyway. Now we just do the same thing. Just kind of lighten up some of the ink. Doesn't need to be perfect. Perfection's overrated. Okay. Hello to everyone just tuning in. And yeah, a reminder that you can put in your name and address in the form linked directly below the video. And then, um, I'll clean this after. And then when we're done, the unpaid intern will choose random winners and I will mail you guys the cards I make. Because why not? Okay, so we got vintage photo and ground espresso. Um, Hello to Sweden. I like your username, Tiny Dirt Potato. <laughs> that works. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to emboss them because I want to emboss them before I start like adding all the ink and everything. So I'm going to use the Wistful Leaves embossing folder. It does come in the November kit, but you can get it on its own as well. Whatever floats your boat. So to do the embossing, let me move like I have so much stuff in the way. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. So professional. I'm so professional. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So yeah, for me, and I say this in all my videos, when I am using specifically, because it does vary depending on the style, the brand, everything. Cause there's no um, industry standard when it comes to embossing folders. You know, these are 3D embossing folders. Other brands can call theirs 3D too. Like they'll call theirs 3D embossing folders. Da, 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 da. The thickness varies widely between the brands, styles, etc. You know, it just is what it is. So always look on the brands page with their embossing folders, etc., and see what they recommend. And even then take it with a little grain of salt and see what works in your machine. Thank you, Maggie, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, cause yeah, even if like, like this specific sandwich that works for me, you know, and it works, it's, other people have been using it and they're loving it, that's great. But if you go and you do this and you're starting to try and run it through and it's like just not letting you do it, back it out, take out a shim, fiddle a bit. Because if you try to force something through any die cut machine that isn't meant to like just won't fit, you can burst these things. And trust me, been there, done that, and it's not fun. Anyway, so for me, I have my Spellbinders Platinum 6. The original platform that it came with, that's an original one, and then two metal shims. I just happened to have two because I had purchased one years ago. One got sent to me with a release. I don't even know. So I was like, and that's now been my go-to. Just those Simon's embossing folders with the cardstock, you know? So hello to everybody. Hello, hello. Again, those for tuning in, don't forget, put your name and address in the form, link directly below, and it will... Uh, the form is in the description box directly below the video, right? It's a first link. It's just a Google form. Click on it. You just, all you put in is your name and address. That's it. Nothing else. And Chris is also probably posting it in the chat. Yep. yep. So yeah. And then we'll, we'll, uh, he will 
choose random winners. Okay, so I just spray the back of the panels with a bit of water. This just softens the paper fibers so that you get a better embossed impression. Okay. And line these up. Get them lined up. Get in your spot. Yep. Okay. And these aren't going to look like much until I start adding ink to them, too. So that's just a given. Get in your soul. Don't you want to go to your home? Every time I say that, that's all I think of is Happy Gilmore. We need to watch that again one of these days. So yeah. You can kind of see it. That's why they call them, that's why Simon calls theirs 3D, because it's different levels. Like these ones are more embossed. These are a little bit softer. Just depends on all of the different, um, different styles, different things, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I almost learned from experience, didn't break, but bent severely. Yeah, yeah. You always want to be just, you just got to figure out what works best for you and your machine. Okay, so we'll do the second one. And then, the little part always wants to pop out. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. Okay. And I'm just trying to think what, how do I want to do? I'm going to do this one with this set of colors. I chose two different color combos because why not make my life more difficult and why not play around? I have all the ink colors listed and linked. I'm using a combination of Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated. Concord and I thinks because they just they play well together and then uh you want to see I hope these are these should still be in stock the I don't have a link for the holder this is from make it by Marco on Etsy yeah they make a bunch of like brush holders for for crafty peoples anyway Simon's large bending blending brushes they're part of that sale that I was talking about at the beginning they're like 20 bucks off which is a great deal so I'm thinking I might order another set when I'm done because <laughs> hello, always having extra blending brushes. And I also use mine so much that, yeah, I don't know. I like having backups of things anyway. Anyway, um, do, do, do. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this is color combo number one, taffy and Mocha from Simon Says Stamp, Avocado and Spice Cider from Concord and Ninth. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. You know, we're just, we're just gonna see. Let's, let's just, let's just do it, man. Like no rhyme or reason, just start adding color. And yeah, as you ink blend, the, the pattern starts, starts coming out, you know, which is exactly what I want. Down all the way. Add some Concord and Ninth Spice Cider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we'll do a bit of avocado this is where with color blending for some backgrounds or what you're aiming for once you start mixing like green with like pinks or green with reds you can start creating mud I'm fine with that I was talking about that in a recent video especially when I'm doing like leaf type things I don't mind a little bit of muddy color because leaves turn brown like that's the whole point so like, this is what I'm talking about right there. This is mud. Not bad, you know, just is what it is, but it happens. And you just gotta be aware of it. So depending on what you're trying to do, sometimes you might not want mud, you know, but I'm okay with it. 
because we're adding brown anyway. It's their fall themed cards. Even though it's winter here now, we're doing fall themed cards. So yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dawn. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, and this one, mocha. Brown. So we'll add a bit of that. Add some in here. We'll even sneak a little bit extra. Why not? Really nice pressure. Mm -hmm. Are we going to splatter the crap out of this? Of course we are. Of course we are. Splatter with a capital L. It wouldn't be alive without splatter. No, it wouldn't. And I lost my cloth. Where did my... There it is. Never mind. I lied. We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh... We got five kids. I don't share like personal info about them, but there's five of them. And yeah, yeah, they drive us crazy too. They do. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um. I'm just thinking how I want to do some of the next steps. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to do the next color combo. I'm, we're good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Color combo number two. Concord Ninth, Sunflower, Juniper, and Cayenne. And Simon Says Tam Ocean. Sort of random color combos. But, you know. I kind of, always, I always get a kick out of the comments I get sometimes on my main videos, not the live ones. But on the main videos and people are like, I really thought it was a hot mess. I wasn't sure how, you know, and I, I get that. But it's like, you saw the finished card before you clicked on the video. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it was right there. Like, you, it, it was, you know, I accomplished it. But, I guess, so I just get a kick out of those comments. They were like, oh my god, you know. And I was like, that's why I always say there's a method to the madness. But those comments always make me laugh. But maybe, maybe sometimes people just click and aren't looking at the thumbnail. And I get that. I get it. Or they just forget. Yeah, that like too. Seconds after you click on it, do you really remember what the thumbnail looked like? I know. I'm, although I'm not one of those pers people. Some creators, not not so much in card making, but some creators like change their thumbnails oh, to yeah. suit the algorithm. So it's like I'll see a video pop up in my feed like three, and I'm like, and I'll think I didn't watch it, but I'm like, wait a minute, they changed the thumbnail. They do that. I don't have the time to do that. I'm like my thumbnails suck. I just use a photo. Like I'll eventually have to like take a selfie or something, and I can be like. <gasps> You won't believe how what happened. You know, like the uh, I'm uh, I'm warning everyone. I will probably eventually have to start doing that because I have to play with the algorithm for my videos to get out. So I'll just be like, oh, shocker! You won't believe what happened during this card making process, and it'll be something completely like a nothing burger. But anyway, those types of thumbnails get clicks. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I still haven't done it yet. I just, I'm going to feel like an idiot when I do do it. So I'm, that's why I ain't knocking it. Cause I'm sure I'm going to do it too. Anyway. Okay. Sunflower. And then we'll add some juniper. Hey, Simon's here. Hey, Simon. I have videos planned using some of Simon's, I have like just a little stack of Simon's products, especially that stencil set was sold out, the, his most recent one. Ideas. I haven't fully dived into the Christmas stuff yet. I've just done a little bit, just a little bit. We'll be getting there. It's been a crazy month. I can't believe it's almost over. So y'all, um, oh, you want to post a link to the sale, please? It is linked in the description box below the video. But uh, if you want to copy and paste that, yeah. Grab stuff while you can. Stuff sells out fast. There was there was some good stuff in there. Like I was kind of shocked. 
at some like insane prices too. I loves me a good sale. All right. Um. Um. Oh, your, oh that's really cute. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, where am I going with this? I'm going to go in with... Ooh, I need to add some cayenne. I love this color. Love. Love. Yes. I'm going to kind of go in a little heavier with that because it's just a delicious color. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that's cayenne. And then we'll add a little bit. Um, clickbait and card making don't really seem to belong in the same sentence, technically, but it, it, it is a thing. Um, I, again, I'm not gonna bash anyone who does it because it does, it, it gets you views. You know, things like card making hacks and. Yeah, there's ways to do clickbait properly. I think the majority of content creators in the card making space, the ones that I'm aware of, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot that I'm not aware of, but generally don't play the, the icky type of clickbait, you know, the kind where it's literally clickbait and you click and then the video has nothing to do with that or it's just misleading, that kind of stuff. Usually it's not, like usually people play nice. There's a lot of low quality content in the clickbait these days. Yes. Like five minute crafts is notorious for that. Yeah, but of five minutes crafts is a bunch of And they're not the only <clears throat> there's several now. Those like content farms. Yeah. They're garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. We don't see as much of it on YouTube. That's more on like Facebook, etc. I just click off all that crap. Because all and cause some of it's downright like not only is it misinformation, but some of it's downright dangerous. The crap that they'll promote or a technique or something like that crazy. That whole, we were talking about that, that whole, like taking apart your microwave to create a wood burning, <laughs> you know, which like, uh. oh, I still can't get over that. You know, I don't know for sure if those content farms were doing it, but people were doing that and oh, showing I, I, that, for, you know? There was a couple of years there, like five years ago, where you saw some of the weirdest stuff, like people microwaving a microwave. Oh yeah, like so much of it is such stupid crap. Like, and yeah, people are starting to wise up and call them out for it and yeah. Like, 15 ways to use cement. And they make all these, like, oh, unbelievably yes. stupid crafts that are just pure utter, pure and utter garbage. It's like, let's yeah. make this flower pot out of cement. It's like, well, you could just... There's also the <laughs> ones that make, like, oversized food. Like, yes. Like, water for 500 people. And oh, just, like... yes. I hate, I hate food content that is just made for clicks and views and is a waste. I hate when people waste food. It just... Mm, no, no. Anyway. 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 Mm, gets me ragey. Anyway. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. Right now, everything looks like a little bit of hot mess. In real life, it doesn't look this bad. My camera always makes me look worse. Thank you, camera. This is just the beginning. We're going to add splatter. I'm going to add some paste. I'm going to rough up these edges, probably. I'm just trying to think how I want to do this first. I'm going to add the paste first because it's going to dry the fastest. The splatter is going to take the longest. So... I'm going to use a little bit of picket fence, paper glaze, and golden rose. Simon's lunar paste will also work for this. I actually just showed doing this in a video a couple days ago, something. But we'll just... Something's beeping. Yeah. I assume one of the neighbors. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I'm just going to take a bit of it on my finger. Just kind of, kind of tappy tap a little off. I think they're sanding the rose. Oh, that'll be, yeah, good. And I'm just going to apply this with my finger, kind of to the raised edges. And 
when you apply paste this way, it does dry incredibly fast, which is super nice. You can also use like a little blending foam if you want, but I tend to avoid that because unless you soak that blending foam almost immediately and even then you might not move fast enough, it'll dry out in the foam and then the foam's just done for. So it just depends. But yeah, I'm just going to add just a bit, just a bit here and there. This is just going to kind of help emphasize things. And I'm also going to run this through another time through my... Through my die cut machine just to re-emphasize and re-emboss all of the things getting like crusties everywhere okay but yeah okay so we do that one um couldn't you also use foundry wax for that technique yes you can use foundry wax um, the thing with foundry wax, however, is you need to move quick with foundry wax. It also needs to be heated after you apply it. Um, cause if you don't heat it, it literally dries to foundry. Foundry wax is its own, um, very unique formula. I love it. It will give you the most metallic, like gilded look. You just, you do have to move quickly. Like whatever you squeeze out, you only squeeze out a little bit because it will dry up right on your work surface. Um, you're technically not supposed to use your fingers with foundry wax, but I have and I don't have a problem with it. Um, but yes, you can totally, you can totally do it. You just, you got to move fast with foundry wax. And it is because it is like liquid. It's a little harder. With If, I, if, these, if this design was a lot more raised, Faraday wax would work even better, but some of these leaves and stuff are just not. They're just, they're just, it's just a gentle little sort of design. Okay. Okay. So now I need to clean up the mess I just made. Um, okay. Stuff gonna come off. Oh yeah. See? Just a little bit of elbow grease. That's why I use a glass work surface. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Even off my finger. It's like I never did it. We're good. We're good. Okay. So we got a little bit of shine. See? Just a little bit. A little bit of shine. You don't deal with idgets. I hurt one of them yelling. And then we'll re-emboss these just, just to bring it, just to bring it back a bit. Alrighty. So the thing with, uh, that's the raised edge. When you're, it's a little harder with this, but you can basically just feel and it'll like pop back into its spot, back into its home. And then I can just run it through. Let me get my things organized. There we go. There we go. Uh, hello, Evelyn. Yeah. So we got that going. And then we just repeat the process with the second one. Got it in place. Run it through. Hello, Jen. All right. Fabulous. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now for splatter. Let's get that out of the way. Let's put that over there. Splatter, splatter all the things. 
Okay. 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 Where I want some of this. Gonna use some ground espresso. Um, distress paint. And again, Chris had to step out, deal with the Rugrats. Um, everything I use is listed and linked below the video. So when he gets back, he'll keep adding links like he always does, but just so we're all good. So ground espresso. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I would love a Patreon post about nail polish. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was actually going to do a dedicated YouTube video about like nail painting and stuff. And then the wind got totally taken out of my sails when Mooncat was like totally not interested in partnering with me because I did contact them and they the way they worded it I like I've been doing this a lot of years I know how marketing works etc and it was just like I don't fit their criteria because I'm not a I'm not a beauty influencer a nail I'm not a nail girly I yeah which is whatever it's just it would have been really nice but anywho it happens it's all good we're just gonna splatter the crap out of this and have fun <laughs> but yes for my patreon peeps i could do a nail polish post we'll see we'll see just add it to the suggestion box AKA the back of my brain where I will think about it. <laughs> I've had lots of splatter. Why not? And we'll clean the brush off. And yes, when working with distress paints, really any acrylic paint, you always want to make sure clean off your brushes, etc., etc., immediately because they dry permanent. And you do not want to wreck your brushes, etc. Because that's no fun. Ooh, let's just... Okay, so that was splatter number one. Yeah, we're going to need more than that. Splatter number one. Splatter number two, we'll do... Gonzai Tombi. Sorry, colors. As is tradition and I actually might use two we do like light gold and yellow gold you never know you never know um afraid. I let moon cat know I bought because you I appreciate that I think maybe if enough people like because like I still love the polish I'll still keep using it I still um, will post, you know, because I always post in my main videos, the color I'm using and the brand. Um, but yeah, those that order, if you put it in the, because there's always a comment box when you place an order. And if you just say, put in my name. I don't know if you can post a link when you place an order, but you know, they'll, they'll hopefully put two and two together. You know what I mean? Um... Cause yeah, it just, it would be cool. It would be cool. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't blame them in a sense. Like it sucks, but I don't blame them for being just like, you know, sorry, we don't have any, like the base. It was like, we don't have any openings at the moment. I was like, I know what that means, <laughs> but yeah, we are a niche market us card makers, you know, but people learn eventually us card makers. Uh, we know what we're doing. But anyway, um, as far as my water, I just have a little eyedropper bottle that I keep distilled water in. I've had this for years. I don't have a link for it. It's just, I just keep this on hand because, you know, I'm in the garage, whatever. Keep distilled water in it for adding to this. And then I also have a mason jar off to the side that I keep just regular water in. I don't bother keeping it distilled because I, it's just my big, my big mason jar that I use for water coloring and stuff. And I just finish cleaning that out in the sink because it just gets nasty after a while and yeah that one I just keep regular water in because it gets dumped out and replaced every couple of days but yeah 
Gonzai Tombi, Starry Colors. Let's start with the light gold. We'll do some light gold splatter. And then we'll do some yellow gold splatter. We'll have an old priest and a young priest. I don't know why that popped in my head. Anyway. Ooh, I think I'm hitting pan on this one. I am too. Whew. Actually, I'm not surprised. I've had this little palette for like literally forever. Big blotches of splatter. Because that's what I like. interesting approach i'd say i miss market a lot of youtube carving opinion oh yeah and that's what i had said to them when i contacted them too i wasn't just like and i did i wasn't even like i will say like i was honest when i contacted. i was like i would just like even just like a referral code like i wasn't asking for free product i wasn't asking for a discount really anything i was just like more so to kind of get it across to them i was like if i have a code it would just show them whether or not it's worth working with me you know but 90% of your videos are just your hands, right? That's what I tried to explain to them. I'm like, you see my hands in videos and, you know, and I was like, I even add these little pop-up graphics, you know, but is what it is. And I'm, you know, I'm okay with it because it is. I'm, I'm not all about, like, I'm not going to turn into like a nail polish influencer, you know, I'm going to keep doing what I do. But yeah, my hands are the focus, so I get it. But is what it is but yeah it would have been cool you never know maybe they'll change their minds yeah yeah it is what it is speaking of which i well i'm not i got a few more days before i'll have time to paint my nails again i need to paint them again they're filthy they're grown out and filthy and my one thumb is chipped and it's really annoying me but i don't have time i'll paint my nails later <laughs> aka after this month is over because I just don't, I don't have time eh, okay but yeah I hit pan on, and of all colors I hit pan on the light gold which is really interesting because I use the yellow gold like all the time that just interests me weird little things but yeah tons of splatter splatter I hope Linda like sees this I think she stopped watching me after I ripped her a new one but Apparently, I, we need to go buy a dictionary because actually that comment. People oh, are... someone commented on it on it popped back up in my feed because that happened forever ago. I wouldn't even have remembered, but someone commented on it. So it popped back up on my Facebook feed. And yeah, it was because she was just like, you need to go read a dictionary. <laughs> I was like, yes, I will add that to my reading list. You'll just come in here and I'll just be like sitting here reading the dictionary. <clears throat> you have peanut and you have to share. Found them. You found them? <laughs> I have five left. You can have another two more. No, those are good because I can't be like chomping on video for everyone, but I was like, ooh, peanut m &Ms. <laughs> Uh What does one have to do to find out the great sales ahead of time? Nobody finds out about them ahead of time, especially with Simon. It's just. I am forever online because of my job. So I'm online literally all the bloody time. Chris knows this. Like I'm up editing in the middle of the night, yada, yada, yada. And I check often, like all the time. And when I spot a good deal, I am immediately sharing it with all my people. You know, I post it on my, my Facebook community, my, my Instagram and my YouTube community page um so yeah i post and share with the disclaimer you know because things do sell out because sometimes i get like hate mail over it i have no control over it but yeah like i spot a good deal i share it is what it is anyway we got <laughs> okay um I did look it up in the dictionary and couldn't understand the difference between oh yeah with splatter and spatter there is no difference there's no difference like you're it, it, you are splitting hairs it was just a whole lot of drama and a whole lot of insanity 
completely uncalled for. And I didn't care that what she said to me, even though it was bloody rude, which I called her out for it and said, cause she was being rude. Um, but it was the fact that she went after other makers and like small makers and she was a complete jerk about it. That's what turned it into just a nightmare. And I, oh, I don't, I don't tolerate that kind of crap. So now, and now because I am petty, I will always preach, we gotta be kind and crafting is therapy and everything else, but you know, I am petty to my core. So now it is splatter with a capital L, splatter. <laughs> and it's never gonna change. That's it's just how it is. That's how it works. So anyway, anyway, okay. Back to the cards. This splatter is actually almost dry probably because I'm yapping the whole time, which I get grief for that. If you don't like lives, don't watch them. Click out, it's okay. I get it. You know, not everything's for everyone, but um, I said this in the last live and it seemed to work. To remind people that if you're gonna come on my live and tell me to shut up and get to the point already, like get to the crafting, kind of defeats the purpose. And again, because I'm petty, it's gonna make me talk more, you know? I, I post a bajillion videos where I just like, and I speed it up and we get right to the point and we do the things. So, it just is what it is. Ah. Anyway, okay. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I was going to rough up the edges for this. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Let's let's get some other things ready here. First. I got like way too many ideas going on now and and I want to be petty. <laughs> it's like just give me crafting. just get back to the crafting. Yeah. <laughs> uh Thank you, Evelyn. I get, I honestly get a kick out of when, when new people, cause you know, there's, I got my kind of same group of, of people and everything. And I don't know, I genuinely get a kick out of when someone new shows up, you know, and they're just like, I love it. I'm like, that's awesome. Cause I know I'm, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I get it. I'm okay with it. You know, we're all, Different, different personalities, different. This cardstock was like not straight. I'm kind of annoyed. Um, no, I'm not gonna mess with that. But um, yeah, I get that. Not everyone's personality appeals to everyone. Mine especially doesn't appeal to a lot of people. Cause yeah, I'm blunt, I'm petty, I'm mouthy. I get it, I get it. It just is what it is. Um. And I fly by the seat of my pants and I'm pure chaos. <laughs> ah, so much fun. So much fun. So I don't appeal to everybody and that's okay. That's okay. Oh, thank you, Janet, so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Apparently there's supposed to be a sound effect in this software update, but I haven't heard nothing, but maybe I have things. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. There's supposed to be something that's supposed to like notify me when there's all super chats, but yeah, getting there, figuring out all the things. Anywho, Nina, Desert Storm, cardstock, always my favorite. Um, um, I missed a couple things. That's why I don't record I have a sailor's mouth, but I served in the army. Oh, I has, I swear like a trooper. Um, in fact, a lot of card makers do. We're just uh, really good at not, or we edited it out when we're doing our like edited videos. And then in lives, we just try to control ourselves more. I actually laughed. I watched Kathy Zielski's um, 75k celebration last night we we're you know having fun she included bloopers and there was a couple but she edited it out of her bloopers but yeah she was just like she throws that f word around too and i was like he. <laughs> uh oh it hasn't oh did i miss it i'm like oh my comments are being weird thank you oh uh e Thank you, Cat. I appreciate it. Just for the L in splatter. <laughs> so 
up a ladder. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Ah, yeah. I will not swear in my regular videos and I try not to swear in the lives. Mainly because one, advertiser friendly. You know, I gotta do this for a living. And two, I do know a lot of people that watch with their kids or their grandkids, etc. So yeah, I'm not going to throw around the F-bomb like confetti. I save that till the video's over and then stub my toe or something, you know? Anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, okay. Her party was so fun. I was like, oh, it was so fun. And her, I showed Chris after the voiceover that Kathy's husband Dan did. I was howling. Yep. It was perfection. <clears throat> like absolute perfection. And now I can't, oh, I even forgot, like, there's a skirt buddy for scurring. That's how we're going to refer to it from now on. And the magic eight ball. Love it. Whole thing. Perfection. No, no notes. It was the best. I hope she does make them do more. Like, I will totally tune in for voiceovers by Dan. <laughs> he had no clue and it was just, it was amusing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make a mess. One, gonna rough up those edges in a minute. But I wanna stamp the insides of these with, oh, see now I, I actually need to clean that stamp. See, I knew there was something. Oi, okay. Um, archival ink cleaners. Ah, uh, here it is. Since I used archival ink, mm, I wonder if Simon's. Oh, and I remember, but I forgot to link to it. It's probably sold out though. Still, Still the it was sold out last week. I don't know if they've restocked it. I found it because I couldn't find it. Oh, the fact that it popped up first. You can check and see if it's in stock. I forgot to link to it, but yeah. Hero Arts Little Scrubber Block. It's great. It's great. Add your little cleaner. You know, do your little thing. With these, the cool thing is you can take that stock. off. Is it out of stock? Yeah. yeah. It's out of stock. They'll get it back in stock soon. Hero Arts is awesome. But yeah, you can take that off. You can get replacement little doomahickeys, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to keep going on and on about it, you know. But yeah, I'm going to use this with a little bit of... No, I lied. I'll just use Simon's Ultra Clean. No oh... Thank you, Colleen. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add, because I need to clean the archival ink off of this. Because while I adore Tim Holtz, like Tim Holtz, oh, every, the amount of things I've learned from him. I can't not clean my stamps, <laughs> but also different, again, different styles. You know, the way he does his thing, he just inks them up with black archival and goes with it. And I'm just like, you know, trying to resist the, the twitching it causes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, it works for him. It's great. It's great, you know, but I can't, I can't do it, man. Of course I got a runny nose now. This is annoying. Meh. Meh. Anywho. Um. Late to the party because of daylight saving times, but hello from there. Okay. Europe. Time changed, right? I, I saw something online and then I had to double check because I'm in Saskatchewan and um, here our time doesn't change at all. We don't have daylight savings, nothing. Thank goodness, because it's stupid. I hate it. But I know for North America, it comes into effect like the 6th of November soon, you know, and I have to pay attention to that because of deadlines, everything else. But I was seeing things about the time change. So I had, to, I was like having a panic attack. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, do I have to change what time I go lot? You know, cause I, yeah, I just have to change what time I do things. But yeah, yeah. 
The U.S. switches over next Sunday. Yep, I'll have to remember that because that means I will, my time, I think it'll just give me an extra hour to prep, which will be wonderful, wonderful. So, yeah, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I understand time zones. That's fine. You know, we're all on different parts of the planet, but the daylight savings stuff, and I understand why it was started and all that stuff, but we don't need it no more. Make it stop. It annoys me <laughs> so much, and I'm so glad we don't have to deal with it because I swear, if you're going to take away an hour of my sleeping time, I'm going to lose my mind. That's just... That's the first okay. Sunday so it, That's why I was... For the UK's daylight saving, that's what I had seen. Oh. Their time changed. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Everything's all over the place. That's also why Google um, is a wonderful thing. That's what I always tell people. I'm like, always Google it. Just Google what it is in whatever time zone. So for me, I always say 2 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays. That is my like schedule. So you can always just Google it. What time is it in CST right now? And then compare that to your time, you know, figure out that, that difference. Cause I, I do that all the time. I always have to, it's, it's what I do. Um, oh, I didn't link to this color. Now you're having beef jerky, it's you and the snacks. Um, Simon, type Simon Fawn. Simon Fawn? Yeah, Fawn Inc. I'll just use that. Yep. Simon, one. yep. I'm going to use that on the insides of these cards. Oh, my talkie talkie. Um, well, yeah, like that's the whole thing. Like right now it's rolling back. So everyone gains an hour that has to deal with daylight savings garbage, but then you lose it in the spring or whatever. And it's stupid. It's stupid. I don't like it. I think it's dumb. And yeah, I'm more annoyed by it because it does affect me, even though we don't have to deal with it, thankfully. But I do with my job and deadlines and blog hops and just all the things I have to do. So I always have to pay attention to the bloody time zones and changes. We're victims. We're victims. <laughs> I'm a victim. I'm a victim of daylight savings time. Anyway. Okay. Fawning. Just a light ink. Just got to add something to the inside of the card. I put a bit of my post-it tape at the score line just so I don't um, stamp past the score line and then press that in and this will actually dry back even more it'll soften a bit so it's still like pretty light I don't like adding too much um, to the inside with what like are too intense to the inside because you need to be able to write over it. I missed something. What did I miss? Oh. <laughs> I love it. Turning back my clock to when I was 20. I, wasn't it? Wouldn't it be that easy? Um. Although, honestly, I don't miss my 20s. <laughs> I was a very young mother, so I don't miss really that entire decade at all. I, mm, mm, that's previous life. Um, please share how you really feel about it. I know it drives me nuts anyway. Okay. Uh, for those of us on the West coast, I, it, it'll still be 2 PM central. I'm not changing the time. It will always just be 2 p.m. Central Time. So you guys all need to figure that out for yourselves, how that applies to you. Cause nope, not doing it. I, I figured that out, how that works for me. Yeah, when it changes, I will be the same as Central Time. Cause right now we're an hour earlier. If you just punch in 2 p.m. Central yep. Time into Google, it'll tell you what time. Yeah, just use Google. Google, Google is wonderful. Thankfully, mm -hmm. it just, it pops right up, tells you what you need to know. Um, cause yeah, so I'm sticking to just 2 PM central for my Sunday lives and yeah, when I do bonus lives, cause I've been doing more of them. I even did some without the unpaid intern, which actually I had to deal with my first, like I had a nasty, like 
porno troll oh, <laughs> post really? and stuff. Yeah. But I dealt with it. It was good. Was that what? The one I did the other morning, because oh, well, you were working. Yeah. The real job, the one that pays you, because I don't. So anyway, um, Google. Hey, Google is wonderful. Another place. <laughs> uh, okay. Stamp that. Just like so, and I'm missing okay. There we go. There we go. And since this was just water based ink, give it a quick little swipey. And we are good. That can just get dealt with later. Okay. So insides are stamped. I might, I'm probably, I might add like another like main sentiment. We'll see. We'll deal with that in a minute. Tape. Oh yeah. I didn't link to that. It's under my most used. It comes in a container like this. But yeah, if you go under most used, scroll down a little bit. Scroll up. Most used. Oh, oh, cause you're scrolling on shops, you goober. Great job, unpaid it. No, click back on shop. Now you want under the shop. No, up. You want to leave that on Simon. Okay. That one tags. <laughs> this unpaid intern needs to learn. <laughs> now go to most used. Yeah, you had this figured out last week. Well, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Scroll down. Right hand side, yellow. It's this dude. The Scott yep. posted? Yep. Oh. We're good. Anyway. I suck. <laughs> he's, lear he's learning. Post it tape. Comes in a roll. I've shown this before. I keep my pieces stuck to the top of my little Empress Mini. That's what I do. I just, I stick them here and I just keep reusing them until they're completely done with, you know? Um, so I actually don't grab like fresh post-it tape very often. This roll has lasted me. Oh yeah, there's still a ton on here. This is, I've had this for a couple years, maybe longer. I forget, it's been a long time. I don't repurchase it very often. Um, do you use a baby wipe? I use Costco baby wipes, um, like the Kirkland brand for everything. Because the Kirkland brand ones, they're plant-based, which, so I don't feel so bad. But yeah, I use those sometimes to wipe off my stamps, to clean things, to wipe my hands off. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what was I doing? I'm just like, I'm all over the place. Anywho... Oh, and now I've. Did you read your chat? Yeah. Okay, we're back. We're so back. My praises, which... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, no. See, this one's less funny. Keep up the great work, unpaid intern, and someday maybe she'll hire, hire you. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he impresses me enough, maybe. <clears throat> you know. I guess he's not really unpaid. He's got food and board and stuff here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice place. <laughs> yeah, it works, eh? Maybe I'll stay. The boss is kind of a rank old, I won't say the word, but anyway. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you just do a live where the intern makes it. It's, it's simmer. The idea is simmering. Yeah, same with like him doing like the occasional voiceover and stuff too. We always had that idea. We had that idea like, for years yeah, and it just... To do it on April Fool's. Yeah, we were going to do that and he was going to be like, hi, you know, and pretend to be me. It was going to be funny. We'll still probably do it at some point. It's just... Yeah, it's kind of finding the free time. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, to like kind of mess around and have the, have the fun with it. But we will eventually... 
We are both um, busy adults. Yeah. Cause like he works full time plus overtime. I work all the bloody time. And it we just. Have five kids. And yeah, and we got five kids. Life is. I'm not exaggerating when I say life is chaos. It really is. <clears throat> it really, really is. Anyway, using my little. This is currently sold out, I think. And again, I'll take credit for that because I have been promoting it rather heavily. A little Tim Holtz distressor and die cutter to, or thread cutter tool. You can also use scissors. This is just convenient. And uh, less chances of cutting or stabbing yourself. So anyway. Plus, I don't know why. I get, I enjoy making this ridiculous little fuzzy mess. Whatevs. Anyway. He gets snacks. Yeah, he does. I buy him snacks. And hot sauce. And all sorts of other things. I still gotta get you some... Sometimes it sounds like a toddler the way I talk about it. It's like, I gotta, I gotta get you some shoes. Maybe me a little, like, oh. another warm sweater. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> Still think you should figure out a way to do... Um, a library both create art. That is that I would like to the issue is space. Like I literally like where I'm sitting and filming, like there's literally nowhere for him to sit. You'd have to move some stuff under the desk. Oh uh, I and there's no space under. I, I literally have like I have everything because I optimized it all for just me to film, you know. Um yeah. So it, it, we'll see where th things it. are slowly evolving now that I'm doing the live streams and you know I figured out the the lighting issue because that was you know part of it so I figured out the lighting and we're figuring out just one little step at a time but yeah you never know he claims he's not artistic in the least or creative but I beg to differ because everyone's got it it's just you got to drag it out of them kicking and screaming sometimes. Yeah. I was going to say you encourage them, but it's just like, no, you just grab my ear and be like, make this. Anyway. <laughs> uh, truth, Kath, the paper distressor has been getting a workout lately. Yep. Yep. I love this thing. I forgot how much I loved it. And honestly, I, uh, some of you all will remember this blast from the past because I or it's in it was in the sale category, a paper crimper, because I can't find my original one. I had one 20 years ago. I st I think it might be in a bin somewhere in here. I can't find it, and then I saw it in the sale category. It's like more than half, like it's like 60 percent off. So I ordered one. I haven't used a paper crimper in well over a decade, but. I'm bringing all the old stuff back. I don't care. It's fun. So yeah, I ordered a paper crimper. Who'd have thought? So don't be surprised if you start seeing me use a paper crimper on my cards in future videos once it gets here. That order hasn't even shipped out yet because I think that was just yesterday I ordered some random, some random stuff. Okay. Let's rough up all these edges. I like that. That works. Let me clean up this mess. Ugh. <sighs> How do you glide so easy on your Scorpel? Um, one, I use a Teflon bone folder. I don't even, I don't even know where the one, the one that it comes with is garbage. I hate this thing. I hate that. Well, it's just, it's crap. That's all I got to say about it. Score buddy, that was awesome. Um, but I also use a Teflon bone folder and it's got a decent, you know, so I can get in there. And I just, I pay attention. Cause yeah, if you're not paying attention and if you're just kind of, it, yeah, it'll skip. I've done that many times, but honestly, when I, when it does happen and I'm just like, do and I skip and then you get like, I will take it 
out, use the flat end and you can kind of burnish out that mess up. Yeah, so I make it work. But 99% of the time I can just, you just kind of slow her down, do your scoring and it's fine. But it also depends on the tool you use. Cause yeah, some tools just, and I just don't like that one. So it fell out at some point and I don't care. I never use it. I use the Teflon one. They're not cheap, the Teflon bone folders. They're, they're I think 20 some bucks. I forget. My first Teflon bone folder was like, I think they were originally like 30 bucks. I don't know. They were a lot worth it. Absolutely worth it. Cause yeah, I use it multiple times a day. What was I doing? I got distracted again. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Um, yeah. And the, like the Teflon can also slip. You just go slow, slow and steady and you should be good. Um, does anyone know if Gina K dye inks are considered water reactive? Actually, I can quickly. quickly I think they are I'm not 100% positive but I already think they are there's a little Gina K ink because why not we're live I've got a minute yes they are and that's just ranger watercolor paper so don't ex like when you're applying ink directly a lot of times it soaks in but they are water reactive so I kind of assumed as much but yeah, I haven't used my genie. I just have the little cubes. I haven't used them in a long time. But I'm not going to get rid of them because she's got some really pretty colors. Okay, back to what I was doing. Um, yes, the bone folder I'm using is linked in my most used tools. It's That one's by Studio Cadia. Simon Says Stamp has a Teflon bone folder. It's amazing. And Honeybee has a Teflon bone folder. Also amazing. They're all basically the same work the same, mostly the same shape. They're great. And you don't need more than one. Like a bone folder lasts basically forever. Okay, I'm gonna take the pa the picket fence paper glaze again. This, this golden, this golden rose. Just stick a little bit on my finger. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna apply it. Just, just to these edges. Cause why not, you know? Why not? I'll just give it that little extra something. Mm -hmm. I bought a tough on bone folder years ago after seeing you use it. I love it. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those tools that like, it's boring. <laughs> it's not an exciting crap tool, but once you've got one and once you use it, when they first kind of came out, I was like, really? You know? Because that was a million years ago. I don't even remember when. And I was just kind of like, really? Because I was using my little plastic one that came with Score Buddy, and I thought, you know, I don't need it. Although the plastic, the Score Buddy one, that's another reason why I don't like it. It wears, like, I, I dulled it out completely. So yeah, I finally sucked it up. I ordered the Teflon one, you know, paid all the money, and no going back. Love it. And it lasts significantly longer than any other. And while they call it a bone folder, the reason it's called a bone folder is the original ones were made of actual bone. I used to have one and it was an actual piece of bone. From what I know. I don't want to know, no. but it was a bone. Yeah. And it used to leave a sheen, which is kind of disturbing when you think about it, but you use a bone folder and then you'd go to burnish it and there'd be like a sheen on the cardstock, which it I hated. Je uh, <laughs> shut up, Chris. <laughs> I don't want to know. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, bone folders used to be made out of actual bone. Who knows? Maybe all the true crime girlies can like come up with real, like, I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. know if it was a human. I don't want to know. Now we use Teflon, okay? <laughs> uh. Okay. This will just be subtle again, but that's what I'm kind of going for. And 
and I say subtle, and then I start like adding little extra bits because why not? <laughs> why not? Just muck around with it a bit. Yeah. So instead of like the white exposed cardstock, it's got some gold on it. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna do the same to this one. Oh, and yeah, a reminder, because now that I'm thinking of it, now that I'm doing like a menial sort of task and my brain is just like, duh, 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 duh. Um, for those that tuned in later, um, first link below the, uh, I guess it'd be this way. I'm like, mm. <laughs> below the description, in the description box, um, y'all can put in your name and address and Chris will be choosing winners at the end of this live. I will mail out the cards I make to the winners. And the plan is to do this in my, at least in my Sunday lives. Because if I'm doing the bonus lives, we'll see what happens. Because that might be a little, a little chaotic. Because when I'm doing the bonus ones, I generally have to do those all by myself. But yeah, it's just a little Google Forms. I'm not going to keep anyone's personal info. I'm not going to sell it. That'd be a... One, a huge no-no, yeah. but also, like, I do have... Course, I may be petty, but I do have some morals and ethics, man. It's a blank move. Yes. That is a rotten thing to do. But I just... I like to say it that, you know, I do not keep or share people's personal info. Ever. When you enter giveaways, any of that kind of stuff, it's like... No, I, I don't. I don't play those games. Because... Yeah, that's just yucky. Yucky. And again, I like all, pretty much all the card makers that I know, same thing. They, they, they play by the same rules too. Like, do things properly and ethically. And yeah, have some morals, man. How wholesome. Well, yeah. It's, it's important. Okay. I think I'm done mucking with this. Now I've got to get it off my fingers, because... <laughs> uh... You don't, don't post your... No, 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 don't post your... Chris, can you delete that one? Yeah. Uh, don't post your address in the chat. It goes in the form, because I don't want it, like... So Chris is going to delete that one. Um, there's a form directly below. You put it in there because that keeps it private because only I and Chris can access that form. Um, so yeah, put it in there. Okay, good. You got it out of there. Because um, yeah, I want to I keep everybody's personal info um, separate. So... I don't see a problem with using the animal bones. Great way to use the whole animal. No, it's it's not that. I I cause like, yeah, we we eat we eat meat, all that stuff. It just it's just a weird thing. And sometimes I can't get out of my own head. And I just I remember back in the day, and it's just like it's weird when I'm like using it, you know. But yeah, it to each their own. I took the kids to the butcher shop yesterday. And Kept commenting how weird it smelled in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Truth. Boy. The whole I, I get it. The whole, like, squeamish thing when it comes to... Well, it. squeamish, and then, yes, there's there's just... It's, we're getting into, like, dicey territory, and not gonna... My, my card making is an escape. We're not gonna get into all that stuff. Anywho. Um, no, it's all good. We deleted it. Just Evelyn, just make sure you post it in the, in the form. Okay. Okay. We did this. We got a nice little splattery inky mess. See, it always looks better. Once you have the splatter and everything, it's not so, I don't know. It was looking, it's more of a hot mess. Whatever. What was I going to do for the sentiments? Okay. I don't know yet if I'm going to eat. We'll see. I'm going to use my fancy thing spray for dye for the cement and most likely it's going to be in gold yes no dark brown 
Maybe gold and a dark brown. Oh, I got ideas. Okay. Use some uh, Simons. Will this fit across here? Perfect. Matte gold cardstock. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're gonna do some die cutting. Yep. And then I'm gonna need some scraps for the underneath. And you know what? Since I have a literal pile of Desert Storm cardstock here, I'll use that. Um, yeah. So, okay, let's, we're gonna have to do a bit of die cutting. So, yeah. Nope, wrong plate. Need these plates. Okay. Let's. Let's die cut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you have ad blockers on your computer, you will not be able to enter info in the forms. Also, it uh, negates all the links I post, everything. Because, um, yeah, we have run into that problem many times when people are like, none of your links are working. I can't access this, that, or the other thing. It's, oh, it's ad blockers. They block all of it, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because, yeah, there's no way around that without removing the, or, or disabling the ad blocker on your end. Okay, so, die cut. Yes. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay. So I'm just assuming the address will just stay with you. Only for this, um, this form and this giveaway, as soon as the winners are chosen and I've written down the address of the, because there'll be two winners since I'm doing two cards. And then I'm discard, like I delete those forms. Like, so all the info that's provided, AKA the addresses get deleted. I don't keep, I don't even keep them. Like, no. Um, so yeah, I'm not even going to keep the info, even though it would only just be me being able to see and access it. Nobody else has access to it. Um, I still am going to delete it. So don't worry. I ain't, I ain't collecting nobody's personal nothing. So it's literally just for today and just for this giveaway. And then the next one we do, it'll be a whole new form. You'll have to enter your address again. Yeah, you'll have to enter it again. But that way it just keeps it from building up and getting, you know, and then, yeah, that's about it. That's why I wanted to do that. It was just kosher, like a thing to keep it, you know, clean and contained. And if you don't feel comfortable, don't. Yeah, if don't. you don't feel comfortable, it's it's totally fine. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm okay with that. I get it. Some people don't have a problem, you know. Like, there's giving out their their mailing info and stuff, and other people do, and that's why I put such an emphasis on me not keeping that info because I understand you know I, I definitely get it so but yeah it won't be put in like public anywhere <sighs> do you have the full size empress or does the mini do everything you need I do have the full size empress it is currently still in a box <laughs> Oh, I want to open it so bad. I have no, I haven't had time. I have nowhere to put it right now. I need to. I'm slowly moving things around. Uh, the mini is great. I love this thing, but it can't do everything you need. It it literally cannot unless you keep only use wafer dies smaller than A2 size. The the width of the plates of this are just four and a quarter inches. So I, I, and I don't recommend using A2 sized wafer dies because you're, you're getting right onto the very edges and 
you, you have to line it up so perfect. And I tested it once just to see, and I'll never do it again. Um, so yeah, I think you can get extended, like longer, and I might even have some in my stash uh, plates, but I've never felt the need for those either. But yeah, I do have the full size imprint. It's just, it's waiting. It's waiting for me to get things cleaned up and moved around and organized so I can put it somewhere. I don't know. I'm excited. It was basically my little birthday present to me. And yeah, it'll get pulled out soon. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. But yeah. Let's keep die cutting these layers. that some SSS links open display and others show a blank page only. Duh, all my links should be working. I'll just start um, one yeah, Chris will check. It should, they should work because I just did them right before I went live. So yeah, every once in a while certain things. And I do have issues with that sometimes. The amount of time I spend behind the scenes fixing broken links. Oh, one of the banes of my existence, honestly. Like, yeah. Yeah. They should all be working, though. I haven't found any that haven't worked yet. Yeah, they should be working. Um. Oh, things are, oh, there we go. Um, you should do an unboxing video with a new machine. I might. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I usually try to do that, kind of, or at least I used to back in the day, but it's more often than not. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I make no promises because it's honestly been sitting here now for over a month. I have not had the time to so much as look at it. It's literally still in the box. Um, I just got a mini Tim Holtz die cutting machine. Oh yeah. The, the little mini manual machines. And I technically actually could, and it would have been faster than this. I just, my one, I don't have a link for it. I have the, the honeybee mini manual die cutting machine, but you can only get that like through honeybee. It's not sold at Simon Says Stamp and I'm exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. I've got a few little restrictions with how I'm able to do things, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, a little, a little mini manual machine. Awesome. Cause it's faster, you know, even than this thing. Cause you can just with the smaller plates and pop out a ton of die cuts. Love it. I actually, I talked about that in and I have them. Huh? The video with these cards these guys, these guys that I posted like three days ago. Um, I was going on about my little mini, my mini manual deco machine. But yeah, all the links are working, eh? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Um, I'm going to cut an outline for this. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to actually use it, but I'll just use some dark brown stock from my little scrap in here. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I don't use them, I just keep the extras in the packaging. So it'll be there for next time. I'm just not sure if I want to use that. Or because maybe I want to. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let's just let's just die cut it and then we'll go from there. Okay. Um, oh, and yes, if you're international, I will mail. I'll still. And you win, I'll mail you the card. Like, I'm. I'm fine with that. Like, yes, it does cost a lot more <laughs> to mail things internationally, but with just a card, I can, I think I can survive. The unpaid intern might get a few less M&Ms or something, but That's all right. yeah, he'll survive too. <laughs> uh, so yeah. 
Okay. Is there a difference between Impress and Gemini? Oh yeah, a big one. Um, I personally had a lot of issues with my Gemini. I did switch the plates to the one that Jennifer McGuire recommended. She did a video on that forever ago about like avoiding warped cutting plates, whatever. I forget the title of it. And she uses the, or she used the clear plates and you have to get the double-sided cutting plates and you tape them together. Kathy Zielski also did that. So I did that and it worked a bit for me, but I could never get intricate dies to cut no matter what I did. I tried everything and the plates warped and I just, I got really frustrated with that machine. And yeah, I've never had that problem with my Spellbinders Platinum and Platinum 6 because I have both manual machines. Those things cut like, oh, amazing. And then my Empress Mini, I don't have issues with. It die cuts amazingly. And I've heard nothing but good things about the, the big Empress. So I have very high hopes for it. I just, I, can't, I just have no space. <laughs> And for me, I don't get rid of any of my machines because you just never know. And I do this as a job and I like having options and I also tend to break things. So I learned that lesson when I broke one of my die cutting machines many years ago when I was just a single mom and I didn't have like any crafting budget at all. Replacing a die cut machine was heartbreaking to say the least. And it was bloody fun foam too die cutting the softest of materials and it bursts the inner workings of the machine uh fun times but that's also how i got because i switched i think to a spellbinders platinum six which is the one i still use i've had that thing for so many years and it has been a workhorse and it works amazing so okay stacking these layers together um yeah and yes, the Empress, the big one, it, it does take up a good chunk of space. It's a, it's a, it's a hefty little machine. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure yet where I'm going to put it. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Okay. I did two layers with the Nina Desert Storm scraps and then we're going to top that with the gold. I like gold Stop. <laughs> what was that? That was from Austin Powers. Yeah. <laughs> I like gold. <laughs> anyway. Uh Okay. Yeah, we got some Oh yeah, I might, I might want the outline. I think this, ooh, ooh, it just looks amazing. It does. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going to put it on the outline. Okay. So, we'll stick some adhesive on the back of this. And then we get to repeat the process on, there we go. There we go. Did I miss? Yes, I said that, that we'll mail a card. I will mail the cards internationally. I already addressed that when he asked it a few minutes ago. So yeah. Otherwise, when it comes to stuff like that, I always state like with it and that usually applies more to actual, like when I'm like giving away actual product, you know, because if I've got to ship a box out at my cost, etc., that's usually, that's when I do limit it to like North America, etc., because all oh, the shipping can just, it gets painful sometimes, but yeah, for cards, for these little giveaways, um, yeah, they're open to everyone. So, yeah, 
it's all good there. Okay, let's layer these ones together. Oop. All right. Do you cut into the magnet plate with the Empress Mini? I don't, I have, but I switched it up at whatever point after I got it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of makers that do. They cut into the magnet plate, no problem, whatever. It's just, you will eventually have to replace your magnet plate after a while. And because I'm in Canada and it's a little harder to get my hands on some of the replacements, but the, just the cutting plates are pretty easy. Like Simon Says Stamp does sell the Empress Mini. They sell replacement plates, etc. So it's like, I would rather just cut into. So it just takes a little bit of a learning curve to like flip it, you know, because you're dealing with that. The magnet for the Empress machines, the magnet plate is quite strong, um, which is awesome. But yeah, you make it work for you. But yeah, you can totally cut into the magnet plate. It's fine. It's just, yeah, I make it a habit to flip my dies upside down and I cut into the actual cutting plate and mine I have not replaced this cutting plate yet like it is I who knows how many hundreds if not thousands of cuts I've done on this thing I keep the bottom plate clean as people have been asking me about that um the sandwich I use is the one recommended cutting plate the little metal shim it comes with the magnet which mine is marked up because I have cut into it not a whole lot and then cutting plate and it works so how often do you do your product de-stash for your patrons <laughs> so far never I've been promising that to them for years years absolute years I'll get to it getting there getting closer it is it's a work in progress it's a work in progress it is just it's been a bit of a nightmare trying to figure it out and I actually have things I need to set up behind the scenes to be able to like if I could actually print off mailing like buy the mailing labels you know and pay for the shipping from here to make my life easier that would also be freaking wonderful but uh I've had I'm experienced some issues I was working on that just like a week ago and I was like thanks Canada Post they literally were like you are banned from this account I was just trying to order postage stamps. I literally had to go on incognito mode just to order postage stamps. I was like, I don't know what I did, but apparently I pissed off like the Canadian government. I'm not really surprised, but, or who knows? Maybe that worker that I've talked about on my Patreon, um, maybe she's blacklisted me. I wouldn't be surprised, but anyway. Like, do we call her when we go to the post office? I call her the Battle Axe. The Battle Axe, that's right. She really doesn't like me. <laughs> uh, that will forever just live in my head rent free. When I was mailing out a whole bunch of cards to my Patreon people, like I had a stack, a stack of cards. And she just stopped and looked at me and she's like, do you really have that many friends? And I just I was like, I didn't even, I, I don't even, I don't even remember what I said to her. I don't remember. My brain went completely blank and I was like, I can't believe you just said that to me. Uh, nowadays I'd be just like, yes, I do. I'm super famous. <laughs> I would have been just a jerk. Uh, I wouldn't actually have been, but I would have said something really stupid. I'm probably, I probably did say something really stupid in response because I just, she threw me off. Anyway, anyway, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, okay, so I got my sentiments, sentiments. Okay, I'm gonna die cut these and we'll just see. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna add them, but I'm gonna use the abundant leaves. Wait for that set. And I think I'm gonna use some gold alum. This is pro, I just have a feeling that this stuff's currently out of stock because when I promote it, it sells out. It is beautiful. It's tonics, uh, gold, gold vellum. Beautiful. I do love it. Um, but yeah, I uh, I don't have hopes that it's in stock right now. It's just it's just so fabulous. So we're gonna die cut it. 
and we'll just see. We'll just see. Because if I don't end up using it, it's just like anything else. I put it into the packaging, so next time I pull out this die set, it's like, ooh, look at that. I've got I've got some little die cut whatevers. So yeah. Is it in stock? Can you, are you checking? The gold vellum. Gold vellum. Oh, were you not doing your job and you I'm were just, behind. you were not doing your job and you were on Reddit, mm. reading no, gossip on Reddit? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's there somewhere. I got it. Hold on. You found it? <laughs> uh, they paid me. Stock. Yeah. Okay. It is out of stock. Well, they'll restock it hopefully soon. <laughs> Yeah, they pay me to be their friend. Yeah, truth. <laughs> yeah, basically how it is with Patreon, you know? I just... Yeah, my Patreon peeps get me. They understand. I am I am a hot mess, man. You should have said something like, they're my customers. They want drugs. <laughs> you yeah, know. How about we don't? How about we don't? Do I need to die cut this a second time? Ooh, this vellum's gonna be finicky. I'll, this is where I'll use my... I could add a shim to this, but I would rather just use my... Um, my spell bonders. That's where things can get a little iffy. Detailed die cuts and vellum or very, very thin stuff. All right, let's move. We'll go back to the... We'll go back to the spellbinders. Because this dude will be able to handle it, no problem. Because this thing has a lot of pressure. I'm knocking everything over. Okay. Hopefully I can reline this up. I may have to cut another piece. We'll see. We'll see. Again, Vellum likes to be finicky. So we'll just see. If I gotta die cut another piece, that's okay. It happens. Okay. Oh, thank you, Don. <laughs> didn't you give him his M&Ms? Well, I didn't give them to him. He took them. Yeah. And he's probably got more hidden in his pockets. I, I'm all out. You are all out. That's funny. Well, I got most of it. Sometimes you just need to wiggle it a bit and if there's a little spot mm, I'll just use my scissors rather than rather than get, yeah because it's basically already cut through it's just being finicky because I'm live and that's just how it is you know there we go and that little, we'll just follow that, just like so, okay, yep, okay, one down, there we go. Wiggling it basically. Get out of there. Oh. There. Okay, got one little pile of leaves. Now do the next one. Okay. Um, people sending things to the post help keep them going. Why should she be mad? You're keeping those. I don't know. She just doesn't like me. <laughs> It also some it sometimes doesn't help that sometimes not all the time but sometimes I just tend to show up like at the most inconvenient time for them. <laughs> like the last batch I was mailing out and I walked in because like our post office small you know small community anything, all those things. Anyway, um, there was like a lineup of people and you know things were a bit chaotic. Whatever. I don't know. It's just. It happens, just like how I said earlier about people not enjoying my videos or my live stream, or mostly it's just they don't enjoy my personality, you know, which I get, I get it, 
you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So that's also, I don't take it personally. Even her comment at the post office, it was just having someone say that to your face was, it's a little jarring, but I've had much worse said to me. That doesn't excuse any of it, but I've got a thick skin and I'm not too worried about it. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, there we go. I use that sh oh, 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 look at that. Sometimes with the intricate dyes, you just, you just need a little extra something. Cause like all that detail. Got our little pile of leaves. Get out of there, whatever. Anyway, I tend to just sprinkle chaos and frustration wherever I go. And people don't like me and that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, I posted a video on my YouTube account and so I you can I tag you and post on Instagram to give you credit yes and yes giving credit that is important I firmly believe in those that post their creations online to give credit where credit is due and there's more to it if you forget, I forget a lot sometimes. It's like, I'm inspired by so-and-so, you know, but if I forget, because I do that a lot, I'll still say in my video, it was like, oh, I saw something and, and I'll explain. And 99% of the time, someone in the comments will know exactly who or what I was talking about. And they'll let me know. And it's like, perfect. I can go back and edit and give that person credit. I don't think I want the big ones. I think just the small ones, because the big ones are too big. So I might save those. Yeah, this is what I was going for. But yeah, but especially for those, it's one thing when you're just like sharing a card you made, you know, um, most of the time people do a credit and they'll tag me. I love it. I try to always comment and respond when people do tag me. Um, it just, sometimes I don't see it. It's when you're dealing with the algorithms and the crap, but usually when people tag me, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever, um, if I see it, I always try to like it and like give, give a comment and stuff because I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, for other people that are like, yeah, posting YouTube videos or like posting content, like as a content creator, darn straights, you should be given credit because that's where you start getting into some dirty tactics when people will take other people's like ideas, rip them off completely, pass them off as their own. And it still happens and it just, oh, it just, it makes me feel icky. I, I don't like that. Like the bare minimum you can do is be like, I was inspired by so-and-so or whatever, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I'm inspired by people all the time. I, there are so many amazing makers out there and yeah, my only problem is sometimes I forget. I always try to take screenshots or remember, or I'll write it down, you know, but yeah, I like that. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think I'm gonna keep this a little. But yeah, yeah. Always give credit. And if I, if people are inspired by me and they post something, just tag me, and hopefully I'll see it so that I can say thank you or you know tell you your card looks awesome because I just, I love it. I think it's super cool. Yeah, we'll add some little gold. I had a fruit fly flying around here. Um, I am bad with memory, so I'm trying to write down creators' names. Yeah, and sometimes to uh, here. Let me add that. Do we tag you in the description of the comments? When it comes to YouTube, it gets a little like I guess you. I think you can tag other creators in fact I know you can I know you can if you actually tag me with my like YouTube username um that'll actually pop up in the back end of YouTube like I'll see it something I think that's how it works so if you put it in the description box whatever most of the time though I, I always forget about that on YouTube I'll usually just post a link to so-and-so's video you know and I'll be like or or I just verbally say like I was inspired by so-and-so yada 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 but I usually try to include at least like a link to their channel or their video 
you know, especially because some makers like they're or, and the way I talk, I talk very quickly. So people are like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> But especially when, you know, some people's names are very hard to, and I butcher pronunciations all the time, all the time. So yeah, I try to always like just post a link to their channel, their video, give them a shout out, etc. Because it's like, hey, I was inspired by you. You're amazing. You know, I also message makers too, just to tell them that. I try and comment as often as I can. I haven't been doing it lately. I just, this month has been hard. But I like to leave comments for people too. Or I'll just outright message them and just be like, hey, you're amazing. Thanks for costing me a ton of money. I ordered a paper cripper because of you or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, Cause yeah, I get inspired by so many people. But that's also too, at least with YouTube, you can go back on YouTube, like on the main page, there's the little thingy with the three lines in the upper left corner of your main YouTube channel page and you can click and go back and you can hit your history and you can kind of scroll back because I see that a lot too not necessarily with, about giving credit but people are like I saw this video and they can't you know they don't remember and I was like go through your history you know I've had to do that many times because I was like oh, I saw this you know I saw this thing somewhere someone doing something amazing and now I don't remember and I go through my history and I'm like there it is there it is so anyway I'm taping the vellum leaves yeah with a bit of washi tape just because they like to be finicky and I don't want to add any adhesive one I don't want to add any adhesive to the backs of these because you'll see it because adhesive shows through vellum also because these are all pierced like that the glue would ooze out anyway but yeah, with vellum you want to kind of disguise how you're how you're adhering things. Um, I'm always going shopping after your videos. <laughs> Thank you. I know, and I, I I do the same thing with other makers. You know, I'm just as bad, so I'm very well aware of like influencing and purchasing things. The amount of things I've purchased <laughs> after watching other makers' videos, I'm like. I have just so many things, but it's fun. It's fun. Okay, how do I want to yeah, stick him up like that? Yeah, like that. That looks right. Just kind of go like that. Okay. Uh, I just found that history button the other day. Oh, and that's why I'm sharing it. It's amazing. Sometimes you just don't even know certain things are there. I don't even remember how I found it, but yeah, it wasn't even, like, it was a while ago, but not, like, super long ago. And I was like, oh, there's this, like, thing. Hey. Yes. And I'll save these big ones for a different project because, yeah, I don't want to cover up. Or I could, or I could just cut. No, no, no. We'll save those for another project. We're good well enough long so we'll just put it right back in the packaging with the die set so he will be safe for another day because that this leaf set this 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 i'll be using so often like can you have enough leaf wafer dies no no it's the same as snowflakes can you have enough snowflake stamps or wafer dies no <laughs> uh never never Okay, how do I, do I want to pop them up with a little bit of thumb tape? I think I do. I think I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Would micro dots show through the vellum? Yep. Everything shows through vellum. Even the adhesive on the market that claims it doesn't show through vellum. It shows through vellum. Um... The only way around it is either hiding it, you know, hiding it, or I've shown in some videos, because it depends on what I'm doing, if you run it through uh, like a little Xyron machine and apply, you know, the sticky adhesive to the entire piece of vellum, or using like a adhesive sticky sheet, same idea, like the solid that just you cover the entire thing. Um, 
that doesn't mean it doesn't show. It just means the whole thing is covered in vellum or covered in adhesives. So you can't tell the difference, but it makes vellum when you cover the whole back with adhesive like that, it makes vellum a little more transparent, which changes the look of it. But yeah, I am firmly of the camp that there is no adhesive on the market that doesn't show through vellum. I don't care what any brand says. I just, nope. So you hide it creatively either like this or if I do a little dot of glue or a little glue dot you could totally do that put a little little glue dot and then put a little crystal or a gem on top hide it be creative with it you know and I know a lot of makers in the community uh, they're good at hiding things because they're all true crime girlies <laughs> like they're learning how to hide the bodies I think they know how to hide adhesive too like, I see the comments about the true crime stuff. Like, some of y'all are dark. Like, you think I'm crazy. <laughs> Sometimes hiding the adhesive and hiding the body is the it's same the thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. Up. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. Okay. Big Mama phone, which I don't think I linked to the Big Mama phone. I don't even know if that's in stock. It was out of stock recently. I don't know if they've restocked it. It's not in my list. Big Mama phone tape. Love it. Yeah, it'll be under my... No, it'll be under... It'll just hit Big Mama in the search. Like, click out... Yeah, and just hit Big Mama. Just... Maybe, maybe it needs to be Mama. Yeah. Mama. Yeah, not Mama. Mama. Big Mama. How did it... Oh, did I? Maybe not. No, I did not. But is it in stock, is what I'm asking. Is it in stock? Is it in stock? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, it is what I'm asking. Is it in stock? It is in it stock. It is in stock. Oh. Love me some big mama phone tape. Anyway. <laughs> We also have no fingerprints because of the hot glue. <laughs> Truth, you know? Truth. I feel called out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your most watched YouTube person? I, oof, I'm all over the place, honestly. I, and I don't watch a whole lot. Um, I, I wish I had more time in the day. And my other thing that I need to do more of is, um, leaving comments on other makers YouTube videos like yeah I'll comment when I have the chance on like Instagram and Facebook and whatever but mm, you, know, you commit um, I need to leave more comments on people's YouTube videos but I don't get a chance to watch them very often and I don't comment hardly ever mostly because when I have someone's YouTube video going I'm working so it's like I'm busy you know I try to participate in the live chats and stuff like with Kathy Zielski and stuff but yeah, it just, it depends on the day. Everything's so chaotic. There's so many amazing makers out there. And yeah, so much inspiration. And I love it. And so many different styles. I love it. Like when I get the chance sometimes, like I like watching like Vicky Booten does lives on Friday nights. Yeah, she usually does Friday nights. And like, I don't scrapbook at all. But one, I really like her personality. And she's just entertaining. And I learned, th I just, I pick up little, little, little nuggets here and there of things that I can do to, um, to my cards. Like that's one of the reasons I got back into sewing on my cards was I was watching her videos and she was pulling out the sewing machine and sewing on her scrapbook pages. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. I remember loving to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it just like this. Where's my adhesive? So yeah, there's, there's lots of, um good ones and then yeah and i while i mention the true crime girlies because i just i know there's a lot of them that in the card making sphere that that like that stuff i'm i don't participate in true crime stuff at all i can't do it man i can't do it it is not my cup of tea so yeah it's just is what it is but I'm very aware of that space and that genre and the people love it and that's fine it is just 
fine. Get in your home. Okay. Let's get that adhered. Just like so. Um. Maybe why crafters watch true crime is because we have to hide what we buy. I, mm, that gets into some dark. I get it. I get, it's one thing when people are joking about it. As someone who has been in, you know, a previous life and been shamed for the things they like and the things they purchase. And it's not like it's a big secret or anything like that, but it just... Yep. Yep. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. <clears throat> like, not only do I not hide what I buy, I send Chris the screenshots. I'm like, look at these purple Ugg boots I bought for myself. <laughs> and he's like, you did good. You did good. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. It just... Yeah. Actually, and it was a conversation Chris and I had just the other day. Yeah. About like hobbies and, you know, because yes, card making is a hobby. Card making can get very expensive. Most hobbies, most hobbies are expensive. My biggest, honestly, my biggest pet peeve is when certain male creatures like to be arseholes about the amount of money the women's spend on their little crafty hobby. And it's like, how much, how much were the tools you in your use. garage that you never use? How much to fix up that retro car, you know, or you're into ATVs or boats or miniatures, yes. gaming, et cetera, et cetera. Cards, oh yeah. Stamps, There's, yep. Model trains, There's a million yeah. things like we could go on and on. You know, it just hobbies are expensive. Hobbies are expensive, but it depends. You know, and there's there's always there's all that nuance too, because it's like please don't go into debt yes. over it. You know, there's always priorities, and you don't need all the things. You don't. You really don't. You know, you don't need every new release. Heck, I even say that people ask me all the time, like, am I going to show this tool, this tool, this release, this brand, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, I would love to. I wish I could. I can't afford it. I only have so much room in my craft budget. I wish I could support 10 times more brands and buy 10 times more things. I do wish because I would love to show the things and try the things and all the things, all the things. But I can't. But yeah, it's just, it, it triggers me so much. Because again, as long as you're not going into debt, as long as if, you know, you are being taken care of, your partner is being taken care of, if you have one of your kids, etc. You know, there's those priorities. As long as all those things are being met. Have your fun. Yep. Buy your stampy stamps. Buy your cardstock. I think this is crooked. It's driving me insane. I'm going to... No. No. It's fine. It's fine. Amy's getting angry. <laughs> triggered anyway anyway it's just one of my big old pet peeves just gotta say it anyway um hello ralph yes i mentioned boats boats we had that boat guy near here who's got like 20 of them in his yard uh, but he's i know he i i think people pay him to store so? either that or he really loves boats he really even though them. we are nowhere near a source of water big enough to use. Well, we're near the river, river. kind of, but it's about a t it's about a two hour boat drag away. Kind of, you know. It's just it's not it, people that have cabins like we're in Saskatchewan. There is hundred thousand plus lakes yes, in this province, and there's like there's people. That's part of it too. That also that all gets me. There's you know the the fancy lakes that people go to. You know, they're where everyone, like, literally with c cabins that cost more than our house. And then the boats and the ATVs and the snowmo snowmobiling up here. 
the men who whine about how much money gets spent on hobbies and they own like three plus snowmobiles plus all the coordinating gear, the gear, heated gloves, heated snowsuits, the helmets, all like it's, it's insane. It is insane. The level of money. So it's like, no, no, no. Buy what you want. Do what you want. Seriously. You drive around with your big $75,000 plus truck with your snowmobile hanging out of it that you use twice a year. Mm, I could just go on about that. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> uh... <laughs> My husband is playing board games and computers. Yeah, Chris has, yeah, board games. Like some of them are expensive. A really, really good board game these days is about $200. Seriously? Yeah. Holy. Some of the really, really good, yeah. like ones that take, you know, five players. Oh yeah, Chris is, players. Chris is very into, we've got a few board games and he's got like a group that they'll play like some really, we, we really cool been, board games. It's been a while, but no, but kind of messed yes, up lot, but. but yes, like some board games are like for the, like, they're expensive. Even just basic ones. You're looking at close to hundred bucks for a good board game. Yep. They're not cheap. So yeah, it just, I don't know. There's this weird, and it's been going on for many years in specific like card making and scrapbooking, that weird shaming about, you know, how much a person has spent, invested, whatever. And I just, it, it, it makes me angry. And this has nothing to do with me being an influencer and like, buy more things, use my links. <laughs> I just, if it brings you joy and it's not hurting anyone and you're not going into debt over it. I, everyone else should just, that's how I feel strongly about it because it is crafting is therapy. Crafting is therapy. And yeah. And I refuse to let anyone shame me. And tr and I trust me, it also it makes me mad cuz I actually I used to have a troll that used to come on my videos and at one point like they would always harp and I still kind of wonder and I'm pretty sure I knew the person in real life. Because, man, they put in a ridiculous amount of time and effort. And they were like, I added up all the money you spent on your haul videos. Which, I never responded to them because I wasn't going to give them the attention. But I was like, man, you wasted a lot of time and effort. And they were like, you've spent, like, it was like $40,000 in the last however long. Which was totally an exaggeration. But, yeah, they just, they went, they came completely unglued on me. And I was like, one, that's a lie. And two... Do you need help? Seriously. So that's, that's my thought. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Board game equals hobby. Just saying. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like there's just, there's some really cool board games out there. And yeah, Chris has a few that are very in depth that I didn't even know that kind of stuff existed. They're kind of cool and they cost good money. You know, they're not your typical little like Scrabble games. Like they're hefty games with a lot of moving parts and pieces and you know all the things so yeah model trains cost money snowmobiles boats tools all the things they all cost money it's just choosing it so that's that's my um oh no and and sharon no you didn't like i'm not mad or anything it, and it's just it's always one of those things it's always in the back of my mind because it's more just that open the door. But no, I'm not mad. It's, it's all good. Don't worry. It's something I've wanted to address for a while anyway. So you kind of just like gave me the nudge. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, it is just a... Because I see it a lot in forums, etc. Those comment and that because your comment didn't bother me at all. It's those, it's the other ones where the women comment and it's like, oh, I got to quickly hide this before my husband sees it. And I'm just like, nope, 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 stop it. <laughs> I was like, did he hide the, the boat that he bought? You know? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, uh, 
I don't think even the rich part. No, they were, they literally went back and they, they claimed they added up like every single haul video. Cause you know, I used to do haul videos back in the day. I haven't done one. I do release some review videos of new releases, you know, here and there, but I haven't done a haul video actually in a very long time. Um, more, mostly, yeah, because it just, it triggers people and it was causing too much, too much trouble and too much chaos. And I, I was done with it. So I quit doing haul videos because it's like, it's not worth, like you're just having to babysit the comments and deal with people coming out of the woodwork being rude about it. So yeah, fun times, fun times. Um, I've said that in joking only. I never have to hide anything. Truth. Yeah. And that's why I usually try not to come completely unglued because some people are totally joking about it. You know, I get triggered because I've had some literal past experiences and been blamed for the reason, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, yeah, it's hard to word it in some ways, but yeah, like been accused of and ridiculed, literally ridiculed for enjoying what I do and purchasing products and all that stuff. Needless to say, I divorced the person who did it for many reasons. That wasn't the main one, but uh, yeah, Chris and I are good. He, he buys his, his game and stuff and his little board games and whatever, and I get my things and yeah, yeah. Um, it's all good. It's all good. So anywho, they hide the boats in Saskatchewan. Literally, we, there's just someone near here, but I think people pay them to store their boats on their property. But you drive by and there's like 15 boats on the property and it's like, okay, either you're crazy, but I personally believe they're storing for other people. Chris personally believes that this this dude's just obsessed with boats. <laughs> okay, okay. We are gonna draw names. So I'll give you guys, just wait, Chris. I will give you guys a couple minutes. If you haven't put your um, name and address in the form, if it's directly below the video, you can put your name and address in there. And then Chris is gonna choose a couple of random winners and I will mail these cards out and I'll show them close up in a second. Um, yeah, and then I'll mail these out to a couple of you guys, which is super fun. I'm loving it. I'm hoping we can continue doing this with the live streams. Let me, I'm like making sure I'm pressing the right button and not shutting everything off. Cause that would suck. That would suck. Um, okay. Let me know when we're ready. Yeah. Just give it a minute. Give it a minute so that people can enter anyway. I 100% agree with you, Amanda, 100%. My craft room is my happy place. <laughs> Bugger off and get out of my house if you shame me. Totally with you there. My mortgage and my bills are paid and it brings joy. Preach. That is exactly how it is. So, yeah, okay. You see, I zoomed in. So those are the finished cards. We got stamping and ink blending and pace and cardstock roughage and and splattery and vellum. And then the insides are pure simple. Just just basic, but I'll, I'll write, I'll write something. I got little, little bits, little bits everywhere. They're shiny. Oh, and I forgot to link to the bling, babe. The bling? I'll let you hold that package since I already used it. I didn't put a link to that. Cause then he can add that. <laughs> well. I got distracted. I was ranting. Everybody loves it. <laughs> what is this? Uh, do you also have something to send for those who can only see the replay? No. This is the, for now, these types of giveaways of the cards I make are only for those that are in it during the live. I love my replay crew. We will have to figure out something. Um, I'll probably do something kind of dedicated I need time for ideas to simmer to make it, you know, um, because yeah, we'll, you got it. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not forgetting my replay crew. Cause there's a, there's a lot of you guys and I appreciate, I'm speaking now directly to my replay people. I appreciate you guys like 
sitting through me yammering away and ranting and all the other chaos that goes on. I appreciate it. And you and a lot of my replay people leave like just wonderful comments too. And I always, you know, try to respond. I read every single comment I get. I always heart them. So you guys know I read them and I try to respond and answer questions and all the things. I, I appreciate it. So yes, for my replay people, I will have to figure out something. It's just yeah, I'll have to do something completely separate. I don't know what yet, because that gets into like kind of a logistical nightmare, you know, because then it would have to be timed and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll figure out something because I make a lot of cards. I send a lot. People ask me that a lot. What do I do with actually? Let me switch this around. Give me a sec. Let me, let me go back to here. There's two of me. Now there's only one. We're good. Um, I get asked a lot because I make a lot of cards. I do this as a job. And it's like, what do you do with all the cards you make? Well, most of them are not most of them. I send a lot to my Patreon supporters because um, that's part of the perk of them supporting me on Patreon. So I send out cards to them. And then, yeah, I'm now going to be sending out the cards I make during lives to my live stream in-person peoples, which is awesome. And yeah, I will... Figure out some other ways to do little um, card mails. It feels weird to me to be like, hey, even even this, it's different though, because it's like you guys are literally like here live, you know? But yeah, I don't know. I just, it feels awkward to me to be like, hey, you want to win a card from me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just, I feel kind of awkward. But I guess I'll be doing that and I'll maybe jump around and do that like, you know, on my little Facebook page and maybe I'll do on my blog and yeah, random somethings, somethings, you know, but for now with the lives, we just got to, because that this way too, like I had mentioned earlier, this keeps it so that the form isn't just left open and I can like get rid of it because I don't like keeping people's personal info, but yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's what I do. So yeah, I think we're good. Yes, people can donate cards to hospitals and stuff too. Um, I have done that and I personally don't post because people have asked me that. I personally don't post um, recommendations for that kind of stuff, but because people just need to look up like their local you know, because there are local, like, Ronald McDonald houses, um, like, palliative care units. That's another place. Um, and because everywhere will have different regulations, every, like, different specifications. So if people want to donate their cards, they need to look into it and what is available to them and what, what works, you know? Um, so that's why I don't harp on that on my own. Because what applies to me and what works for me isn't gonna apply to everyone you know so okay um just do a little drum roll woo you got you're gonna pick out some names yeah hold on i gotta, you gotta use the, the random first. i'll have to turn off the accepting response yeah you can turn it off okay all right how many were there 174 holy crap you guys all right first winner 141 He's picking them. He's, we're using the random, random generator. Leslie Teether. Or Teether. Leslie? Tether? Leslie Tether. And who's the second one? So Leslie, I'll be mailing you one of these cards. Oh, and... A screenshot of these. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so we can save them. <laughs> so I actually keep your address before I delete everything. <laughs> so, Leslie Tether... Um, April Monroe. And April Monroe. Congratulations. I will, Chris has taken screenshots of the names and addresses so I can mail these out. I will mail them this week. I won't forget. And thank you guys for putting in your names and addresses. And I'll keep doing this. We will keep doing it with the lives and we'll do them with, um, yeah, I will probably do it. Yeah, if you guys really, you know, are interested in stuff, I'll do other little random.
card giveaways and I'll probably be able to do like a, a multiple. That's probably what I'll do. You'll just have to stay tuned. Um, again, my social media is linked below. It'll be, it'll be kind of the same idea when I do it. I'll just have people put your name and address into a little form and I'll just pick some random random winners and mail out some cards because why not who do, you know it's always nice to get a card in the mail I love it I love when I get you know go to pick up the mail and there's like cards and stuff I've ordered versus the bills and the flyers and all the other garbage so yeah oh cool I guess I am mailing one internationally there we go so it's all good <laughs> and yes every Sunday I am live at 2 p.m central um so far I have stuck with that consistently um, for the last, like, it's been a little over three months now. I'm, I'm still new at this. I'm still a baby at doing lives. We're, we're just learning as we go. But the schedule is Sundays at 2 p.m. Central. And then more and more, I've been doing random, random li bonus lives. And those ones I try to announce Somewhat in advance, it honestly depends just on my mood and everything that's going on, you know, because I just do this on top of all the other videos, you know. So, yeah, we'll see with the bonus lives, but the main ones are Sundays and that's where the unpaid intern can show up and help. And then the bonus ones usually are just me. Not, not as exciting, you know, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. And I will get these filled out and mailed out to the two winners. And again, all the links to everything. What? What's no, so funny? Nothing. You just didn't notice me when I was waving at the peoples. Oh, were you dancing? No, not no, really. You were I just waving? Up. Oh. <laughs> links to everything will be in the description box below. And then, like I always do, I will edit... Um, I take the photos and do the social medias and the blog posts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That I'll be doing once this live is over and then, you know, post it to all the places. So that'll be coming. And then just stay tuned. I have more videos coming. I think I'm going to squeeze in another Halloween video. I got some ideas. Plus just there's, I got 5 million things on my plate. It, there's a lot. There's, there's new releases coming and Chris, more Christmas cards, all of it, all of the things, tons going on. It's, it's going to be fun. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and yeah the thumbs upping and the comments and all of it i very much appreciate it and yeah to the replay crew just stay tuned i'll figure something out so that i can include you guys too and send cards because i enjoy it so all right chris has now left he's gone he's done <laughs> no, <just> checking on <laughs> you're just like well i'm out uh <laughs> Anywho, yeah, we're good. Yep. We're good. I have a disaster to clean up. I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay. I will see you guys later.